Hey guys, Mike Martin here. Right, I promised that I'd run through a very, very basic, quick, rapid install of um, Magic Page plugin onto a domain name today. I told people yesterday on the live I'd do it and I mentioned it on the group earlier, so here I am doing it. So basically, first thing I'd start off doing was building a site before I did anything else. I'd go to plugins. In fact, you know what? First of all, I'd go to themes and I'd either install Generate Press or I would install Hello. Um, Hello is much quicker, and if you're just doing a basic site, then Hello is probably better because it lo loads faster. Generate Press seems to have a better structure, a bit better for the menus, but I'll keep it basic. So we're going to activate that. Okay, then I'm going to go to plugins. I'm going to click add new. Oh, in fact, it's after I'm going to do it over there. Install Elementor, there we go. Activate. Right, then I go to templates, add new. That's not how you do it. Import templates, right? So I'm going to choose one from file that I've already saved. I've got about 30 of these being built for people, so you get them soon. Well, I've just got developers working on it as we speak. Okay, so now I've done that. So now I can go over and click add new page. It's just a really quick setup, guys, so you understand the basics. And this is this is part of the basics, I would imagine. So I'm going to click edit of Elementor. Obviously, you go through and build all your site out after you've done all this bit. But this, I'm just going to show you the first page. So we should have a template here. Yep. I'm going to insert that. And click yes. Okay, so it's done that. Then what you do is come down to this little settings tab on the bottom left. Set it to Elementor Canvas. And we're just going to click publish. Right, so that's given us the, the, the import of the page that we've just created. All right, so now I can go file, exit to dashboard. Um, Settings general. Uh, nope, it's not settings reading. Sorry, guys. Let's see, element of 29, make that the home page. So, now what you're going to have is when you go to the home page of this site you were looking at a minute ago, that looks like that because we've just imported the templates. So that's how quick and easy it is to import these templates, okay? Right, next step is you want to do a magic page. So, you're going to go to plugins. Right, so let's just imagine this is a client site. You've come to and you've got 15 pages and all your other stuff. It looks dead smart like this. And what you want to do is this client's based in, let's say, Los Angeles, okay? Right, because we've got a Los Angeles map on there. And what you want to do is you want to create um, pages within a 10-mile radius of Los Angeles for this client. So he's getting more business in all the different areas. Or you want to do it for lead generation or whatever other reason you want to do, rank and rent, however you want to play it. You could say to a client, look, I'm going to 10x the amount of traffic you get to your site with a single page of content. Give me the page of content and let, let, set me free. So that's basically how you're gonna do it. Um, so we come over, so step number one. This is this is the bit from Magic Page now. So we go to add new. And then we go to upload plugin because you're gonna abort it, you're gonna choose. I'm gonna go to Magic Page, plugin releases. 5.6 should be the five, should be one, the last one we're doing at the minute. Right, after this, you're gonna put in your API key. So I'm gonna go through the essentials, guys. All the other stuff, get on the training with me and Keith. This should be up to before our training today. Sorry, it's a massive plugin, as you imagine, because of all the things it's got going on inside it. So it can take a little bit of time to upload. And I have seen on some hosts that are really terrible with an upload thing, you sometimes have to upload your add a PHP INI, but that's that's for a different training. Right, so we've got magic page plugin there, okay? So then we want to click on it, paste in our API key, and click verify key. That's gonna go away now and verify our key. Okay, it's approved us. Click proceed. 
and then it's going to bring us over here. So we said we're going to do Los Angeles, didn't we? So top right, top right hand side here, you choose which country you want. You've got Austria, Australia, Canada, Switzerland. These databases are already pre-installed. You've also got the import and export, but I'm not going to go through that in this video because we're going to do the basics. So we're going to go for Los Angeles. So, um, I'm assuming that's California. I actually don't. California's up the top, isn't it? So you want to click onto California. First you want to click, check out your filters. Um, counties, okay, let's see if we can just install, ah, there we go, Los Angeles County, that'll do it for the for the video, okay, and then we're just going to click apply filters, so this is going to apply every single area in Los Angeles, so we've got 565 locations, right, install database, done, so that's going to fly through, quickly install a database for us, as soon as that finishes, we can go up to the top and click continue to settings, or down to the bottom and click continue, and that'll take us through to the settings page. When we're inside the settings page, you want to go over to your URL structure here. So for example, if you've got the keyword in the URL, so for example, locksmith location in the URL, you're gonna use one of the other major keywords and this is gonna be one of your forward, whatever the forward slash in the middle is. If you haven't, if it's just like Brian's shop, um, then you're gonna to wanna to put in locksmith. I think this was something to do with tires, yeah? So tire repair or um, roadside assistance or something like that, okay? Tire repair, I'm just gonna put that, right? And then we're gonna click save. Right, th that's the essentials. There's another thing you should do, which I'll touch on right at the very end, but that is it, right? So next thing to do is click add new. All the rest of this stuff is, is kind of irrelevant at the beginning. You can kind of, you can pretty much ignore it just where so you get the whole site set up and working and go through all this afterwards. Okay, so we're now in this situation and we've got the page here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set Los Angeles. So we've got Burbank, Los Angeles, we've got East LA, we've got, uh, ah, there's Los Angeles on its own. So I'm just gonna have that on. There was actually Los Angeles City there as well, but we'll just do that. So let's give us, so let's say we wanted this client 10 mile radius. So you see the pages here, when we move out, it's not gonna be 565 anymore, it's gonna be 177 locations. I would probably recommend going a little bit lower than that. I'd try and keep it under a one to start with. So you build a bit of, um, a bit of thinking with this site. So let's say seven mile location to start with or up the, up the population. Publish, right? So we've published the page, first of all. Then this is important if you're using Elementor, okay? You now need to go over to Elementor, click on settings, right? See where it says magic page? I'll switch them both on. Tick it, click save changes. Right, now when we go back over to the magic page and click edit again, you're gonna see the Elementor tab pop up. Right, you see this over here, so we've got 107 locations now surrounding Los Angeles, so our client's location, right? So, in here, I like to use location as a short code. Okay, we've already done it actually, so I've already ruined that, so that's not gonna work, so you can kind of ignore me. But I like to use that as a short code before I publish the page. All your short codes are down here on the right hand side. So, if you was creating a web page for, for example, Manchester, Right, so tire repair in Manchester. Wherever you're gonna put the word Manchester, you're gonna put the word keyword location, like that in square brackets, copy it by clicking that button. Wherever you wanted to put the county, you're gonna put county short called region zip. And what this is gonna do is gonna dynamically change for every single page that you're on, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go edit with Elementor. I'm gonna grab the, the demo we installed earlier. So let's go back over. You can always use one of the ones here from Elementor, but I'm just gonna use the one we imported because it's a, uh, so tire one. Okay, so that's popped itself up. Again, like I said earlier, it might have done it automatically this time. Okay, it has, it's done it itself. However, if it doesn't, if you go down to the settings tab, hit this, you get the three choices. Always make sure it's set to Elementor Canvas and then you don't have to worry about all the other crap that's on the page from, from the rest of WordPress. Right, so once this is all created, We've set the URL structure, we've added the page, uh, right, we'd add our content. Now obviously I'm not gonna add content to this because we'll be on here for flipping hours, right? So, but what I will show you is the key the key parts to it is, right? So tire and wheel services. So let's put in location, county, region, just so you understand how these short codes work, yeah? Region, and then we've got another one called the city short code. Now we used to explain it as a Mexican wave sitemap. Now the reason we used to call it that is because what it kind of does is 
it pulls in the 10 closest locations from every area that you're currently on. So if, if you was if you was setting up a, like a Mexican wave in a football stadium and the wave moves up, what is going to happen is all the closest people to each other kind of are all standing up and then sitting down as it gets further away. And this is kind of how it works. <laughs> That's the best way. So you only need to do to get this up is, is, is this cities. C-I-T-I-E-S in square brackets, right? And I'm just going to click update. Right, so what we've just created now, this is now 107 pages in all of the locations that we've, we've just talked about. And just let me make sure I've spelled them all right. County, region. Right, so now we're going to go view page. Did we update that? We should have done. Right, view page. Okay, so look at that. Tire and wheel services in Los Angeles, Los Angeles County, California. So you got Los Angeles, you got Little Tokyo, you got Bunker Hill, you got whatever that says, downturn, new new city, uh, new Chinatown. So we click on New Chinatown, watch this bit here where we just did. See that tires and wheel services in New Chinatown, Los Angeles County, California. Okay, now what we also do on the pages, okay, what we would also do, so, so, so that's how quick and easy it is to create the page with the content and all the other crazy stuff. The other thing that's essential down here is your meta descriptions and titles and stuff like that. Now, what I'd recommend doing in here, so if we was doing tire and wheel repair, in fact, let me go back to that page. Let me just go back to, how do we get back to it? Oh, no, I've got to click edit, edit magic page. One sec. Oh, edit with Elementor. Ah, come back. Yes, it's let me in. Edit with Elementor because we're editing on Elementor. And all I'm going to do is grab this here just to show you how it works, yeah? So we've got tyre and wheels service in location, county, region, okay? So we're going to here. Edit the magic page, sorry. Right, scroll down. And I'll pop this in here. We'll put it in for our social title. We'll put it in our description just so you can see it. Okay, and then we might have tire and wheel service, whatever in your keywords, it's totally up to you, but use your short codes everywhere that you can, you got loads of short codes here and they're pulling all super cool information, all right? Right, Twitter and that stuff, you do, it's not necessary, right? But another cool thing that we've got here is automatic dynamic schema, which really does help rank, and anyone tells you it doesn't, it's talking crap. Simple schema builder, so you can click, in fact, let me just update that first. It's very, very quickly now. It's going to be literally another 30 seconds on this video. I'm going to give you one last recommendation at the end that's essential. And then it's up to you to just go out and build your sites out. All right, so you click on it. You see all this stuff it's done there. So if you don't want local business, because we're doing like auto body repair, it could be, um, I don't know if there's going to be one for tire in there. But as you can see, there's tons of stuff to choose from in here. This this, this, this um, thing he fits to. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so I'm just going to put auto repair. Uh, that'll do auto repair that should pull in the site title url sometimes you have to come in and mess around with these a little bit to get them perfect afterwards but right so if we now go in here and click update and now we go over and view the page <coughs> excuse me right so now you can see what tarot and wheel service los angeles we've got a list of all the 10 closest locations and every time we click on one it takes us to a different location so as you start adding your content you've got 100 and odd pages you just work on this one individual page and think dynamically so location equals location short code county equals county short code country equals country short code zip equals zip short code and so on and so forth yes okay right now if i go up here and find seo quick toolbar and click diagnose i scroll down as you can see Inside of the meta title, we've got Tire and Wheel Service, Angelino Heights, Los Angeles County, MPP Demo. That's because I put the name of the site as MPP Demo. In the description, it's the same thing. So you've got dynamic. You've got your headings are in there. Tire and Wheel, Angelino Heights, Los Angeles. And it should say that we've got schema on it, which you can see it does. Auto repair schema. Uh, let's see if we can actually... I don't know if this has been taken away and we can no longer use it. Let's have a look. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so, um, so price range and telephone are recommendations, but not essential. The image, we do that by adding an image to the page. I'll show you shortly. But look at the page that we're currently on. So in here, it's, it's, it's got the URL. It's got google.com forward slash maps places Angelino Heights. And then it's got longitude and latitude settings. MPP demo, postal address, Angelino Heights, California 90026. County US geo coordinates, so it's the geolocation data in every single page. We had an image to the page, I can show you how to do that in a second. But now, if we go back to the website where we just were, okay, and we change our page, so Los Angeles City Center, all right, 
right? Then we go back over and click S and click Diagnosis, right? And then we scroll back down and we check out the uh, Schema Builder. Watch this. Different page URL, obviously, because it's just pulled in the page URL that we've just done. You see it's got this here of the Google Maps. It's got Los Angeles City Center with the different longitudinal latitude settings. Postal address, long Los Angeles City Center, zip code, US, different geolocation data. What this means is in the back of every single page, every single page that you're going to be that's going to be getting shown to Google, there is unique geolocation data, unique address data, and everything else inside of your schema, inside of your metadata, all your other stuff that's created. So these are created to be as unique as possible while still being a mass page so you can work on them all at once. Now, <coughs> this might, might fail, but let's go. In fact, we all know that I rank everywhere for the locksmith, so let's do electrician instead. Let's see if this is going to make me fall on my face. I've not got anything in the maps for these. But as you can see, it's, it's using my location. Come on. Go. Oh, there we go. We're in. <laughs> is there any more? So this is one of my sites here, and what we did, that's, that, that ranks for, okay, auto locksmith near, auto electrician near me. So what we're also, in a, this is enabling us to do, is rank for keywords no other mass page builders are ranking for. So anyone, if your clients, once you start to build these right, when somebody starts typing it in, and everybody types that in because it shows up on your phone, auto locksmith near me, or auto electrician near me, or uh, underfloor heating guy near me, your client's websites are going to rank on the first page for the actual internal pages, whereas all the other mass page builder people are just going after the long tail keyword. So you build it like this first of all. <coughs> I'm really sorry, I'm getting a bad cough. Um, you, you build it like this first of all. It creates all your pages, so every single one of these pages exists, and then you go into your content and make your changes inside of your page. And what that enables you to do, the city short code is essential. Don't forget that. But what that enables you to do is create pages with dynamic content. If I was to take this out of here and paste in what we've already just put in fact, let's just not do it like that because it just looks horrendous. Let's do it like this. Oh, it's still it's still doing that to us. All right, so what, what I'm saying is we, we would be putting this in as we are tire guys in location who can help throughout county when you have a blowout I just want some new tires on your car in location okay this is how we write so we just location becomes location that's all you got to do is think dynamically with it so that obviously anything that's got location specific is popped into it like that and now we can go edit view page and that 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 will change as you can see it's already changed on the page so it's going to say los angeles on this one but if we go over to little tokyo it's going to say little tokyo and if we make the changes then it's going to say little tokyo um, inside the schema, inside the metadata, if you look up here and I wave over that, oh, you just can't see that. Let me just go back onto here, I'll show you the metadata. Diagnose, tires and services in Little Tokyo, Los Angeles County, MPP demo, that's the title of the site. Tires and services, uh, tire and wheel services in Little Tokyo. So as you can see, it pulls in the correct information for every single page, every single time, and it builds it all out dynamically. So super fast, super easy, okay? So, so the key steps that we've just gone through, guys, guys is install the plugin, put in your API key, install your database, so choose your database from the top right menu, select what country you want, choose your database and make your installations. Set up your URL structure, okay, which is on your settings page. So if you forgot where that is, let me just go in and show you. So we've got a magic page plugin, and we click on settings, and there's your settings page. Change your URL structure in here, there, that bit, right? In addition to that, you then go over to magic page and you add a page. As you can see, you can only add the one, but it covers as many pages as you want dynamically. Add your content. Make sure you put your metadata information into your page, okay? Your meta titles and that down the bottom. If you don't remember what that is, let's click on the magic page and just quickly show you. Click and edit. And your metadata in the page. Guys, scroll down here. Here's your metadata. This part helps the H. That's your meta title that shows on the top of Google. That's your meta description which shows under your title on Google. All right. 
Then you want to add the city short code because that's your internal linking structures taken care of. There's lots of different cool stuff you can do with your city short code in here. Like you use drop downs, you change it from CSV titles to links, and you change it from list view to normal. And you've got one for schema. It's all in the more advanced stuff. Okay. Um, in addition to that, you just use short codes wherever you're using locations. Now the image it was showing that as an error on the schema. If you click that, choose an image there, see SEO image, you click choose file, upload an image, and that'll take care of that schema problem we had. Okay, guys, so it really is that simple. Now, if you think to yourself, okay, well, how do we, we connect this to the home page? Well, I'm on the home page right now, okay? And as you can see, it's got that stupid writing in here. So if I wanted to edit edit with Elementor, what this tool also does for us is it, it enables us to use the short codes everywhere. See that, what I've just wrote on the first page, I've just popped that into there. So then what we can do is we can also go in and let's say we just wanted, it connects the full website. In fact, let me just go in here again and say, we, we cover and location for tires, yeah? Click update, click view page. This is the home page, remember? Ah, so look at what he's done. He's pulled in the city short codes. He's pulled it out. So we cover Los Angeles city center, Little Tokyo, Bunker Hill, Nord Junction, downtown, New Chinatown. That's the first 10 closest locations. And where I put in the word and, Los Angeles for tires. Okay, we are tired special. So now you click on one of these pages and it doesn't take you to the same page, it takes you over to the magic page. So you use your city short code on your home page to create an internal linking structure with the back end pages. I think I've gone in a little bit deep on this. I was trying to keep it as simple and as fast and as quick as possible, guys. But there's really eight sections you need, okay? Install the plugin, put in your API key, install the database, set your URL structure, add your magic page, add your content, content I was going to say your contact, your content, don't forget to use your short codes, okay? Sort out your metadata at the bottom of the page on the edit magic page tab, not inside of Elementor. Make sure you've got the city short code in the page for your internal linking structure. And just use your short codes, guys, throughout the content, throughout the whole site. And that's the basis. That's the basis. You can add this to any client existing website. And after the end of the next two weeks training with me and Keith, you're going to understand the evergreen site model, which is where the real money is. Okay, guys, hope you like that video. I hope it really helps you people. And speak to you all on the training in a couple of hours. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.